The story of the Danaides, also known as the Belides, has intrigued storytellers and artists for centuries. The fifty daughters of Danaeus were destined to marry the fifty sons of their uncle, King Egyptus of Egypt. Ovid named them the Belides, after their grandfather Belus. As the legend goes, all but one of the daughters killed their husbands on their wedding night. For this crime, they were condemned to a never-ending punishment. They were forced to carry water in a sieve or other perforated devices and were unable to ever complete their task. Despite the tragic end to their story, the Danaides have remained a popular and enduring symbol in art and literature. Their plight has been explored in the powerful drama of Aeschylus, the romantic sensibility of Dante, and the lush paintings of William Adolphe Bouguereau. Auguste Rodin's evocative sculpture of the Danaides adds a timeless dimension to the story, inspiring new generations of artists and thinkers to ponder the futility of repetitive tasks and the struggle against fate. Danaeus, a mythological figure in Greek mythology, was a father to fifty daughters. He fled to Argos with his daughters because he did not want them to be married off to his brother's sons. His brother, Egyptus, eventually learned of their whereabouts and came to Argos to protect the local population. Danaeus agreed to the marriages, but soon regretted his decision. On the first night of the weddings, Danaeus ordered his daughters to kill their husbands. All of them obeyed their father, except for Hypermnestra, who spared her husband, Lynceus. Danaeus was outraged and took her to the Argives' courts to be punished. However, Lynceus eventually killed Danaeus to avenge the deaths of his brothers. The other forty-nine daughters buried the heads of their deceased husbands in Lerna and paid tribute to their bodies. They were later purified by the gods Athena and Hermes, at the command of Zeus, and remarried by selecting their mates in foot races. However, some versions of the myth state that their punishment in Tartarus was carrying an endless jug to fill a bottomless bathtub to wash off their sins because they were water nymphs. Despite the tragic events that occurred, the story of Danaeus and his daughters continues to be an intriguing tale passed down through the ages. The daughters of Danaeus were a group of fifty women living in ancient Greece. They were all daughters of King Danaeus, who was a powerful ruler in the region. Their father had a long-standing feud with his brother, who had been killed in battle many years ago. In order to avenge his brother and secure his own kingdom, King Danaeus ordered his daughters to murder their husbands on their wedding night. All of the daughters followed their father's orders except for one, Hypermnestra. She loved her husband, Lynceus, and could not bring herself to harm him. Instead, she helped him escape and fled with him to safety. Her sisters were outraged at her disobedience, and she was punished severely for her actions. Despite her punishment, Hypermnestra became a symbol of love and loyalty in Greek mythology. Her story was told and retold in various forms throughout history, from Mona Caird's novel about imposed marriage, to Magda Sabo's exploration of life choices. The story also inspired Henri Paul Jacques' essay, which applied psychoanalysis to understand the Danaids' punishment. In modern times, the story continues to be reimagined. In the science fiction book Monday Begins on Saturday, the Danaides' punishment is reviewed and changed due to mitigating circumstances. This serves as a reminder that even ancient stories can still have relevance and meaning in our contemporary world. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.